Gary, what's with all the noise down here? Mom, I'm podcasting the story of the Venture Brothers. Gary, nobody cares about the Venture Brothers. People care. Well, just be quiet. All right, fine. People really need to know this stuff. <clears throat> all right, here we go. The story of the Venture Brothers, which really is not about the Venture Brothers. It's more about Doc. You see, Doc Venture used to be one of those kid adventurers on a TV show, and it totally messed him up. Now, Doc Venture's dad, Jonas Venture, was like this badass, super cool scientist guy that was head of Team Venture. And that was the action man, who's a super soldier dude, uh, Colonel Gentleman, who's a sexually liberated gentleman spy, and Kano, who's huge, and he's Asian, and he's a mute. Oh, and there was this fish guy from Atlantis, but you never hear about him because he was wicked lame. Okay, so these dudes raise Rusty, and Rusty is Doc's little kid name because nobody names a little kid Doc. All right, the kid from The Shining was named Doc, but that's totally not common. Okay, anyway, they raise him without a mom and stuff and around supervillains and dangerous science, and they drag him on adventures and whatever. It totally messes him up. So then Jonas dies, and Rusty grows up and inherits all of Jonas's adventuring stuff. And then Doc himself has kids. Now, I heard he hooked up with his bodyguard, Myra, but she's totally crazy, and I don't think that's true. Anyway, the kids are Hank and Dean. Hank and Dean are the Venture Brothers, get it? And they're dragged around by their father too. That's the vicious circle, people do this. Okay, so Doc's a super scientist himself now, and he's totally crappy at it, but he's got all these villains chasing him and stuff, so he has to get a bodyguard for him and the boys. This is Brock Samson. He's a full-on god. Men write him love letters and women name their vibrators after him. So Brock protects the Ventures from the bad guys who are all a part of the Guild of Calamitous Intent. Now they keep villainy on the up and up, and it's run by the Council of Thirteen and the Sovereign, who may or may not be David Bowie, the rock star guy. That David Bowie. Anyways, he's mostly floating head so it doesn't matter. Now, Dr. Venture's main pain in the nuts is the Monarch. He's my boss. He totally hates Dr. Venture. Nobody knows why. It's like in his blood or something. So the monarch is now married to his old second in command. That's Dr. Girlfriend. She's now Dr. Mrs. The Monarch or something, but nobody calls her that. She is smoking hot, but has like this really tragic voice. She sounds like a dude, but you get used to it though. All right, the monarch has a whole bunch of henchmen and they all get numbers. So when one of them gets killed, it is no big deal. But it is, because that happened to my best friend, Henchman 24. Now that's me, I'm Henchman 21. I used to be Wicked Tubby, but after 24 died, I got Diesel to avenge his death. I still don't know who killed him, but I have a hunch it was the Moppets, and those are Dr. Girlfriend's old henchmen. They are creepy, they are tiny, and nobody likes them. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. All right, back to the Venture Brothers. So Hank and Dean and Doc and Brock, they're doing fine. Till the Venture Brothers die. Yeah, me and Henchman 24 killed them. Shoot score, right? Wrong. Turns out the Venture Brothers are clones. You kill them, and Doc just defrosts another one. That's screwy, isn't it? But later, there was this like, big battle at the Venture Compound, and all the clones were destroyed. And then the tanks they made were destroyed. So that's it. The Venture Brothers are out of lives. Now they're just like regular. I don't even think they know they're clones. I mean, Dean might, because he's like a little weird these days. You know what? They're all kind of weird. Even Doc's friends Billy and Pete White are weird. They're these two dudes that kind of only have each other. Now, Billy used to be a quiz boy, whatever that is, and Pete, I don't even know what Pete does now. He used to be the host of a quiz show. And now he seems to just like sponge off of Billy. Anyways, these two want to be super scientists like Doc Venture and get their own arch enemies and all that crap from the Guild of Clements Intent, but they suck at it, so it's super slow going. Now, Doc is also friends with Dr. Orpheus, and he's like this magic superhero guy that rents one of the rooms in Doc's unused buildings on the huge Venture compound. Now, Orpheus has a super team, and they're called the Order of the Triad, and that's the Alchemist and Jefferson Twilight, and Jefferson is a Blackula hunter, which means he only hunts black vampires only. Now they have guild approval and have real arch enemies and stuff. Oh, and Orpheus has a super hot goth daughter named Triana, and Dean was way into her for a while, but then she went away to school and now lives with her mom and stepdad, and then she started seeing someone way cooler than Dean, and as you know, everybody is cooler than Dean, so, you know, that didn't work out. But it's not so bad for Hank. Hank has this D-bag townie friend named Dermot. But Hank can't tell he's a D-bag because Dermot is the only kid he's ever met his own age. And that's because they never went to school. They had these learning beds that taught them obsolete facts while they were sleeping. Totally creepy. 
Oh, and Dermot has this smoking sister that Hank hooked up with once. But check this out. Dermot's sister is really Dermot's mom. So Hank slept with his friend's mom. And it gets worse. Dermot's sister mom was Doc's old fan club president. And Doc slept with her because he's lame. So Dermot is Doc's son. So Hank slept with his half-mom or something, which isn't illegal, but it's creepy. Luckily, they erased Hank's memory, and I wish I had that privilege when I tried to hook up with the monarch's wife. Do not judge, she's extra hot, and they have this open relationship thing. Well, except with the Phantom Limb, and that's Dr. Girlfriend's old boyfriend, so he's totally off limits. And the monarch hates him super bad because he crashed their wedding. And it was this whole embarrassing thing where he tried to take over the guilt. And then he went to prison after that. And then he escaped and went nuts. And then he tried to start this villain organization called the Revenge Society. And it's mainly him and Professor Impossible. Now, Professor Impossible, he used to be a good guy. But he went nuts himself when his wife left him for Doc's brother. What? Snap! Yes, Doc has a brother. Uh, it used to be a twin that lived inside of him, and this happens. It's called a teratoma. You can look this up. But this one wasn't a creepy wad of, like, hair and teeth. He was a full guy that came out of Doc and became a successful scientist and then named himself Jonas Jr. And Doc hates him because he's just like their dad and because tumors aren't supposed to be better than you. All right, besides Doc's tumor showing him up, Doc also lost his bodyguard, Brock, to Sphinx. You see, Brock went off with his old CEO from when Brock was in the Office of Secret Intelligence, Hunter Gathers, his way out of the closet friend Shoreleaf, and a bunch of other guys that used to be in the the OSI and started Sphinx. And Sphinx is a sweet underground supergroup that takes out villains that don't play by the rules. They are super tough. And this whole thing was happening secretly on the Ventures property and nobody knew. Not even the Ventures new bodyguard, Sergeant Hatred, who is actually their old arch nemesis after my boss, the Monarch, lost his arching privileges. So Brock is not the Ventures bodyguard anymore. Man, everything has been nuts since my friend died. The Ventures robot helper, he was in the explosion that killed 24, that's my friend, and now he's merged with this creepy walking eye, but it's cool because he plays in shallow gravy. That's Hank and Dermot's band, and they're okay if you like a band that has no guitar and a drummer that is a robot. Now what else is nuts? Oh yeah, Brock's longtime kind of girlfriend left him for a giant attorney. He's like an attorney for the guild, and that makes him evil. And the giant part is because he's a giant. He's super tall, he's an actual giant. Crazy. Oh, and you know what else? I kind of quit being a henchman. After the whole Dr. Girlfriend hookup thing, I just was not feeling henchmen anymore. And that happened at the Venture Brothers homeschool prom last year. They graduated from their learning beds or something, doesn't matter. And Dean got in this huge fight with Triana, and he cussed out her stepdad. And Brock, man, Molotov Cocktees, his girlfriend I was talking about, she drove a car off a cliff with her giant new boyfriend because she joined up with him. He has all these like secrets and people want him. So she's a traitor, S. She's a lady trader, and I think she's dead now. Barry, it's supper time. They know enough about the Venture Brothers oh, already. Coming! Have a cow, why don't you?